Hey gang, so I had hoped to do a video demonstration on how to use toning. So here we go. Uh, this is for uh, your drawing or any other artwork that you might want to use different shades or tints of values in a drawing and get started that way. What you're going to need are these. You're going to need an eraser. You're going to need a stick of graphite. You're going to need a source, an extra piece of paper as your palette. You're going to need something to sharpen your eraser with if you're using this kind of eraser. Or maybe, um, I don't know, a pocket knife to sharpen a, even an eraser on the tip of your pencil or a cap eraser. You're also going to need a pencil. So those are things as well as um, paper like uh, paper towels or even tissue paper. Uh, from a tissue as long as the this tissue paper doesn't have lotion embedded in it It should work just great Without damaging the paper. So basically here's how you get started with the idea of toning You want to dirty up the source of your palette put plenty of thick graphite on your palette source like so <clears throat> This is how I do several of my drawings and I get started with a sketch and basically what I want to do is I'm going to draw a face and I'm going to get this wrapped around my finger in some sort of way, like I'll use a clean side, like that. Wrap it around your finger, like so. Get a nice flat uh, surface. I'm going to go over here to my source and just rub it against that graphite and get it dirty. With graphite, that then what I can do is draw. Now what I'm going to start with is just a face, and I'm going to map it out very simply in basic shapes. So I'm going to start with the shadow side like so. And I'm going to come over here and do the negative space on the background of my portrait, like so. So this is the negative space here. And quickly, you see, it really starts to develop. And I might shade in a little background hatching, but basically, I'm starting there. Get a little more from my palette. I can even get a little bit darker. And again, you can do this in layers. It's almost like you're painting with the graphite, even though you're not using water. I'm going to come in and shade in the neck. <clears throat> and so with the face, you want the eyes. Typically, the eyes are across the middle. So I'm going to come halfway down from the top and put in an indication of a shadow there and there. It doesn't have to be exact in the bottom of the nose, side of the nose and then an indication of where the mouth is going to be. And what you have here all of a sudden is wham, like, you know, you have a pretty good indication of where things are going to go. It's not very detailed, because it really doesn't have to be. Shade in that part of the neck, and then you can come in and you can add a little bit of gray to the other area. Depends on what you're doing. This person has kind of a stern look, but that's okay. Go to my source, and I'm gonna now, I'm gonna probably close off or maybe even do, do another piece of paper that I folded to a finer point and make it, make it nice and a little, a little more firm, not quite as firm as your finger. I'm gonna come in and indicate where the iris is gonna be. And then bottom of the nose around. Stronger shadows. As, again, what I'm doing is, I'm not being random here. I'm toning the paper, but I'm also drawing at the same time. I have in mind where things are going to go, even though it's a general idea and not much detail. So what I'm focusing now is the upper lip and the shadow under the bottom lip, around the chin, like so. Keep going back to that source, and you can get darker and darker and darker as it as it starts to develop. Again, and a lot of this drawing can be corrected or accentuated with an eraser, which we haven't really done yet. But I'll be showing you very soon. Now, once you've got that in play. The next step might be with your eraser, 
come in and, and define where that shadow is really going to come to an end. And you can draw back in the highlight and the edges of the nose. And then the brush end is simply for getting rid of the shards that you leave behind after erasing. And then here, what I like about this is you can come in to the eye and erase a little true highlight that's going to be right on top of the iris and might even cross into the pupil. You want to go ahead and put the highlight in first and then maybe even you know for the upper lip a little bit of a highlight and you could hatch erase a highlight on the forehead and there's just all kinds of things you can do. Now the bottom of the nose it's actually going to come lower, so I'm going to come in and erase the ball that's kind of in the front of your nose, in the side, in the side. See, I'm drawing back in with the eraser the forms that I want to come back into play. And now I can also come back into the white of the eye and erase part of that to bring it out just a little bit farther. Same thing here. So, now once you've got a pretty good handle on it, the next step might be with a pencil. You, you could come in, put a strong dark where the nostril is going to be. You can go ahead and draw the, the line for the opening of the mouth, get that in place. And then I like to go ahead and do the pupil. Once I know where that highlight is going to be, I'm going to darken in the pupil around that highlight and then also maybe do a little outlining of the iris in place. This is a good starting technique for a sketch or even a final copy depending on what you want to do. And even, well, and this could be applied to things like trees grassy fields, things like that, and man, that really starts to pop, and then you could, you know, come in and sketch where you want the ear to be, bring in the forms of the hair using the same technique, you know, let's say the hair is going to come down, so, in the head like so, so I begin by putting it there, and I could begin toning in the clumps of the hair where they're going to be, depending on the type of person I'm drawing you know, and start adding those things in. And then if I wanted to draw hair in front that's highlighted, I could begin to use the eraser to bring some of that back in. And it really starts to take on some life in a matter of just a few moments. There you go.